Hi all, I just started the recording. Um, welcome to this very first breakout session of Open Aperio 2021. This is practical use of LMS and related tools, case studies from Japanese universities. So we have three presenters this morning. We have uh, Hisashi Hatakeyama, Tomoki Toda, Daichi Ando, and Shoji Kajita. So welcome to all four of you. <clears throat> and welcome to everyone who's here as well. So please leave yourselves muted and your cameras turned off during the presentation. If you'd like to ask a question, you can put that in the chat and I will make sure to surface that during the Q&A portion after the presentation. You're also welcome to use the shared notes in the left-hand bar to, to enter your question. I'll, I'll make sure to uh, surface that to the presenters as well. So we ask that you use the chat box only for chat, not for questions. And if you have any tech issues, please send me a direct message to uh, Joshua Wilson and I will help in any way that I can. So with that, let me turn this session over to our presenters. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your kind cooperation. So, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, thank you. So, welcome to our session. My name is Hisashi Takeyama. It's great to see you all here. So, uh, this session title is Practical Use of LMS and Related Tools. I really appreciate your attendance at this session. So most higher educational institutes in Japan were doing face-to-face -face or blended learning mainly until last year. They had never held large-scale online lectures yet. But the COVID-19 has had a major impact on education. The shift from legacy face-to-face -face lectures to various learning with ICT in higher education is rapidly changing in Japan. Online classes are now widely used, and LMS has become an essential system of the learning environment. In this Omnibus session, we will introduce and share how to operate or use Sakai and associate learning support tools in online classes as our practice. Uh, today, we have four talks, and the presenters of this session belongs to the universities using Sakai as a university-wide learning management system. Tokyo Metropolitan University, uh, Nagoya University, Kyoto University, and Hosei University. And we are members of a user group of Aperio products in Japan named Japan Aperio Community. So let's get started. The first presentation is mine, and I'm working at Hosei University as a lecturer. Today, I'd like to introduce the case of providing add-on tools for university-wide LMS. Um, so in our university, Sakai is using as a university-wide learning support system. We have been using Sakai for almost 10 years so far, and we replaced uh, the system last spring and currently using 12.6 on AWS. Unfortunately, the system is de deployed on a private cloud and we could cope well with increased traffic. And we have customized some functions like timetable at replacement time. However, the changes are decided before the epidemic of COVID-19 and based on the use case in face-to-face -face lectures. Therefore, the useful function for online lectures has lacked. For example, the system cannot support delivering a large scale, a large size file like movie files or audio files. 
For that reason, we offer several tools using LTI. Redcast is a tool for audio content delivery developed by our university. And OATube is a video streaming platform developed in cooperation with a company. These tools support LTI and they are launched from our learning support system. If the course instructor wants to use them, they can add the tools to their course site. I will explain more about Redcast. There are some needs to lecture with audio contents like radio. For example, pronunciation is important in learning language learning. Therefore, the instructor who teaches language uses multimedia contents like audio or video in on-demand lessons. And generally, video content is rich in expression, but they are harder to create than audio content. On the other hand, there is a limit to uploading file size in the resource tool in our learning support system. For using audio content, a podcasting tool exists as a module of Sakai. However, it has not been imported into our learning support system. As you know, there are some risks when installing a new module to running the production system. Therefore, we decided to develop the audio content delivering tool implemented as LTI2. Redcast is a simple uploader for audio files running on AWS. For example, an instructor uploaded an audio file, then the system store the uploaded files in AWS S3. The audio file is converted if the file format is not supported the podcast specification. When learners access the audio file with a browser or a podcast player, the system serves the audio files via CloudFront. It is now being used in many classes, not just language classes. That's all. Uh, thank you for your kind attention. The next presenter, next presenter is uh, Professor Ando. And now I hand it over to Professor Ando. So now we are change speaker. Can you hear me? Uh,申し訳ありません。畑山先生、ちょっとあのスライドを出すとちらで出していただけますか。ごめんなさい。こちらちょっと共有できなくて。はい。ちょっと今、あれですかね。ちょっと待ってください。スライド今出すことできますかちょっと
So, uh, uh, this is Dai Jando from Tokyo Metropolitan University. The Tokyo Metropolitan University is using a uh, Sakai based LMS. In my speech, I explain requests about the LMS from teachers and students in Japan. Uh, please go to the next slide. Uh, Tokyo Metropolitan University is a public university by the local government of Tokyo Prefecture, and it is not so large. There are these three campuses, but they are divided by faculty. The undergraduate student of the Faculty of Engineering and the Faculty of Health Science change campuses when they advance. Also, faculty members sometimes move, move between campuses to each teacher uh, major classes. We think that uh, using the same LMS for the uh, entire university is important. Uh, this is because using the same LMS for both liberal arts courses and uh, specialized major courses will reduce the uh, burden of the both faculty and the students. Especially uh, since last year, uh, due to influence uh, COVID-19, it has become uh, compliant uh, to use an LMS for almost every process in every class, including, including the uh, class resources and the grading of classes and materials, tests, and assignments. In addition, the flow of uh, instructors for meeting IDs and URLs for online classes has also been set up via the, this LMS. In such a situation, uh, it is best to reduce to the burden uh, of both faculty and students. And adopting the unified LMS for the entire university is a great advantage. Also, as a university policy, we are promoting hybrid classes in this year. Hybrid classes are face-to-face uh, -face classes and on online classes at the same time. In other words, uh, both students and faculty can switch to online classes at any time. For this reason, we make uh, full use of the LMS even for face-to-face -face classes, and even now almost all classes materials and assignments are submitted via the LMS. Please go to the next slide. We upgraded to uh, the base Sakai version 220 in March of this year. We have re-implemented all additional features that we implemented in the previous versions. One of the uh, most important is the uh, additional of the test. Uh, there have been a lot of requests for the enhanced test functions especially from teachers and various functions have been implement, implemented. In my opinion, especially uh, in basic classes within the undergraduate measure, there are many classes that are not reports, but rather uh, quiz uh, questions, uh, test questions uh, that are repeated with a uh, apologized uh, response to prepared questions. As far as I can see from the support uh, mailing list, there are a lot of classes with this type of format in mathematics and basic major courses in the Faculty of Health Sciences. We need to continue to uh, respond to this type of class format. Please go to the next slide. So the most common request uh, we received from the students is that the test 
deadlines should be displayed on the start page for each user. As you know, Sakai's start page for each user shows assignment due date, but not test due date. This is because the test is supported to be done during the class time, so deadline after class are not considered. However, however uh, many teachers in our university seem to want to conduct homework and assignments uh, consisting of the multiple questions using the test, such as question and answer rather than the assignment or report submission function. And there are also many requests for uh, batch or individual output of test results in CS uh, comma separated uh, 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 CSV format for grading of those tests. As you can see, uh, there are many requests for testing functions. Many of the faculty members first come into contact with the LMS uh, when they started their online classes last year. From this, it can be expected that the faculty members uh, request uh, the image of the typical university faculty member in Japan. Thus, uh, the enhancement of the test function uh, may be the necessary feature for the open source LMS uh, reach to Japan. So that's all my presentation. Thanks so much. So thank you. And the next presenter is uh, Professor Toda. Okay, so the, can you hear me? Okay, I can hear. Okay, good. So the, can you see my slide? Probably yes. Okay, so the uh, good morning and good afternoon and good evening, everybody. I'm Tomoki Toda of Nago University. Uh, I will uh, present the report from the Nago University. We are operating the various systems centered around NUCT, the developed by using the Sakai 12.6. Uh, in 20, uh, uh, 2010, uh, we started to operate NUCT. And then the, we started our video streaming service and uh, auto registration service by connecting to their their curriculum their management system now, we also developed their e-learning report system on their university portal and uh, recently uh, we developed the kami repo system uh, capable of the handling their handwritten assignment on the nuct the last year uh, we renewed the nuct uh, from the version the 2.9 to the 12.6 uh, last year, as you know, the, we supported the full online courses in our university the, against the COVID-19, and we observed the dramatic increase of the usage of the learning support systems. The left figure shows the usage rate of the NUCT. The, in 2020, the usage rate the increased the double the compared with the previous year. The, Right here shows the number of contents uploaded in their video streaming system. The, again, the 2020, the, the number of contents the increased the double the, compared with the previous year. So now that we have the lots of the users and uh, we can store the lots of the data of the user behavior. So the towards the learning analytics, the, we tried the analyzing the user behavior by just uh, investigating the NUCT access pattern there through the fiscal year 2020. And we counted the number of logging times in each hour 
the, of every day, the left figure show the results of the weekday, and the right figure show that of the weekend and or on the holiday. So the, this box plot shows the distributions of the logging times in each hour. Okay. The first, the, we can see that the users that tend to access in UCT with the class timetable. The please note that the, in your university, the online classes were basically given in an on-demand way. The, nevertheless, the users tended to access in UCT with the class timetable. So this is a very important behavior. And uh, the user there still access the evening and midnight. And in the weekend on the holiday, the, we can observe their similar access pattern, except for the daytime. So the, these results show that the, actually the NUCT is used the anytime, so that we cannot stop the NUCT, even if we need to do the maintenance of the system, so that we have decided to do the maintenance while keeping the NUCT running. The, finally, the, I will show you the results of the analysis of the online course materials. The, we just investigated the course materials uploaded to the resources of NUCT last year. The vertical axis showed the number of up, uploaded their course materials. And the left figure showed the first semester, uh, results of the first semester, and the right figure showed the, that with the second semester. The, most popular the materials is the PDF files, and we can observe the 30% reduction from the first to the second semesters. That this is because the, in the second semester, the classes were given in the hybrid manner, so that's why the, this reduction happened. The, in total, the many course materials have been created last year. For example, the total number of PDF files were the more than the 62, the thousands. So now we have the lots of the, the online course materials and they are effectively used this year. And now we focus on analyzing their user behaviors. I mean, they're, they're analyzing the access patterns of the individual, their course materials, and uh, to achieve the better and the deeper the learning analytics. And that is uh, our the next goal. And that's all from the University. The next one is the Kyoto University. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, yep. And let me share my screen. How can I do that? I cannot see the uh, button to share. Uh, yes, it's coming. Okay. Okay, my name is Shoshka. I'm working for IT planning office at Kyoto University as a professor. Uh, today, uh, I'd like to talk to you about just uh, three things in terms of the uh, uh, practice updates at Kyoto University. One is the, uh, uh, our online class environment. Uh, uh, for the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, but uh, it, is, uh, it was required to prepare just uh, uh, within a one month, but uh, uh, they were just uh, scaling up of what we had done so far. As, we, as you see, uh, we have uh, integrated with uh, student information system and uh, LMS uh, at Kyoto University. And uh, uh, by using the uh, LTI integration, we are using Zoom and also cultural source uh, to provide the uh, basic uh, uh, capability to uh, enable uh, online classes. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, distribute resources, evaluate students, and uh, provide synchronous and asynchronous audio-visual interactions. And uh, uh, as you see, the uh, number uh, of uh, course sites uh, dramatically increased compared with the uh, 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 last years, almost 10 times compared with the uh, uh, 2017. And uh, uh, most of uh, faculty and the students are using uh, our Panda uh, 
right now. This is the uh, uh, total number uh, of uh, uh, login uh, to the uh, uh, Panda and also the uh, total uh, assignment submissions. As you see, uh, the uh, X axis is the uh, uh, representing the uh, number of week. So as you see, the uh, 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 a lot of uh, uh, people are uh, logging in to the uh, our system, and also students are submitting a lot of uh, assignments. And second is the uh, uh, migration issues uh, in terms of the uh, Sakai itself and also infrastructure. Uh, on uh, last March, we upgraded uh, our Sakai to uh, uh, 2.x, uh, and now we also planning to uh, migrate our infra infrastructure from on-premise uh, system to Amazon AWS. The biggest issue is the uh, uh, Oracle migration to the uh, MySQL. We haven't done yet, but uh, we hope that uh, we can do it well. And uh, and also we are, uh, uh, are providing the, uh, a lot of customization uh, for Kyoto universities and uh, uh, in the level of uh, system uh, infrastructure and also Sakai level. And uh, as you see, the, uh, uh, the uh, skins are uh, also uh, customized uh, for Kyoto University, as you see. The last uh, issue is the uh, uh, self user self-improvement. This is the uh, 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 current way to tackle for uh, do more with less. Uh, to do so, uh, we have introduced a formal process to officially endorse a Panda improvements by user, uh, what we call Code for Panda. It consists from uh, 13 requirements. And the first case is com Comfortable Panda, developed by college students. And uh, time is so limited. And, uh, uh, we have more two uh, expected uh, uh, improvements in the near future. Uh, this is a comfortable panda uh, developed by uh, students. As you see, the uh, current uh, number of users are uh, almost about 3,000. So uh, a lot of students are uh, very uh, comfortable for uh, uh, this uh, extension. As you see, uh, the extension is providing the uh, colored uh, site tab based on the uh, uh, assignment deadline. Okay, this is uh, our last slide uh, to express many thanks to Ian Dolphin for everything uh, you done by uh, you done on our uh, community. I mean, uh, a Ja Apeo uh, community. As you see, uh, and uh, you know well, uh, we have uh, just entered the uh, uh, MOU uh, between Apple Foundation and Access uh, Community. We hope that uh, this uh, 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 MOU is going to provide more concrete uh, way of collaboration between Access and uh, uh, Apple in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to our presenters. It is 9.45 a.m., so we've reached the end of our scheduled time. The uh, the light, so there isn't really time for question and answers. Let me propose that uh, you add your questions to the forum for this session. I've put the, the, the direct link in the chat, um, and you can also obviously find that in the, in the Tri-Sakai site. So pose your questions there, and I hope that the presenters, if they have time, might be able to visit that forum and provide some answers. There's also been a request for the slides to be posted there. So if you would, uh, if you, if you would each mind posting your slides, I'm sure that people would really appreciate that. All right, and with that, let us, uh, let us wrap up there. So it is 9.45 a.m. Eastern. Next up is, are, are the lightning talks at 9.50 Eastern, so in, in five minutes. So I look forward to seeing you there. Thanks all, bye-bye.